In this quick video, we'll show you how to measure the angular shift of something moving uh, because of parallax. Again, it's an apparent motion. Uh, really, it's uh, the Earth that's moving around the Sun or uh, something viewed from two different positions on Earth. So we'll use a new process called overlay. This, of course, is if you've already aligned your images, and I have. Uh, they are in my workspace. I'm going to select them and they'll open up momentarily. Here they are. You fit them so they're in the center. I'll zoom in a little bit because we're really concerned about Alpha and Beta Centauri here in this example. And we'll hit the flicker button and you'll notice that the two images alternate back and forth. I'm going to place my cursor here and you'll notice that that star is not moving. And that's good because it's a background star and should not be moving. And we'll come over here and notice that this star additionally is not moving. No stars in the background field should move. However, if you look closely at the stars uh, Alpha and Beta Centauri, they're in fact moving. All right. Uh, you'll need to zoom in substantially to the uh, two stars. Something along that line. And now that you can see, you can see them move. Now we're going to watch them move. You can pick either one. Uh, I'm going to look at this one. And we'll go from uh, how this is sliding over. I'm going to pick the measurement tool. This is it right here. And I can see that it looks like the side of the stars right there in one of them. I'll click and then I can drag you can see the the measurement tool to where it is on the next one. It might be call it right about there. You can use the transparency to actually see both of them at the same time. Uh, now you might say, well, why didn't I use the other one? Well, you can. So let's uh, set them flickering again and measure the other one. So maybe it's going from, he from there to about here. I'm happy with that. Notice the number of arc second shift. Now, we didn't look, but I'll tell you they were different. And there's a lot of measurement error in here, which is exactly why you should do this multiple times. So after you've recorded one set, make sure you take a screenshot of this. Uh, usually it helps us stop the flicker so that uh, we can capture that. And then zoom out. Out. Notice a couple other stars that we may want to align. Align. Go through the alignment process, come back into the overlay process and make another measurement uh, so that you can have several measurements of the shift. This is of course a six month shift from July to January. January to July is six months. Uh, half of that value is the parallax and that is how we would measure uh, the angular shift of uh, something with respect to the background stars.